Delicious. Hey, what up, fam bam? We got some delicious seafood. Let's check out what we got here. I like to use tilapia because it's a firm piece of fish. It holds up to the with the acidity of the uh, lime juice. Let's see. We also got here some octopus, some shrimp, about eight to ten limes we're going to be using. Of course, we got to have cilantro, and this is optional, a green pepper, because I do like it hot. We're going to be using a little bit of evaporated milk. Now, I'll tell you later on what the evaporated milk is for. Also, one big ass red onion. We're going to start off with the tilapia, because it is a firm fish. Since I like to leave the all the seafood marinating overnight in the fridge, with the lime juice. What I want to do is cut this as small as possible. Now guys, since we are using a fish, shrimp, and octopus, this classifies as a ceviche mixta or a mixed ceviche. Now that we got our fish in the bowl, the next sec the second thing that takes a lot of time to, you know, get soft is our octopus. So I'm going to it's already diced up, so I'm going to throw that right in there with the fish. Put a nice little toss. Mix it up. Right. Now before I even do anything else, I'm going to dice up the cilantro. I'm going to squeeze the limes cuz I want to get the lime juice into the octopus and the fish already so it can start working its magic before I even put the shrimp in cuz I have shrimp that's already pre-cooked. <laughs> That was a workout. I gotta get back to the gym, man. But anyway, we've got the juice of eight limes right here. And now what we're gonna do is add it to our fish and octopus. Oh, man. Man, that was a lot of juice. Give that a good mix around. Make sure every piece of octopus and of that tilapia is submerged into that lime juice. Alright fam bam, so now that we got the lime juice with the seafood, what we're going to do is cut up the uh, cilantro. I'm going to bunch them up and give them a nice rough chop. Guys, I wish you could smell the cilantro. Oh man, it's so aromatic. Got our cilantro all diced up. That goes into the bowl as well. <laughs> Why'd you leave me? I was so good to you. <laughs> nah, but <laughs> nah, guys. Now we're here, I just diced up all the onions, all the red onion. Look at that, it's so beautiful. Now we're ready to go. Ugh. Now guys, this is already coming together, look at that. You got your onions, your cilantro. Actually, if you notice, if you notice, the fish is starting to turn white. Now that's a good sign, that means it's, it's starting to cook. So now we're ready for the big boy, the shrimps. Now we're going to bring those shrimps in there. Ooh wee. Delicious shrimps. So I had to transfer the ceviche into a big pot because it was overflowing and I needed a bigger pot to make it easy to stir all around. 
plus I had to add two more limes. Alright. It's pretty well mixed. Now this is a perfect time to hit it with some black pepper. Nice shot of black pepper. And some extra virgin olive oil. Now we're not going to put too much. Just enough to give it that nutty taste, you know. That should be good. Now we can transfer it back to the serving dish. Now we're just gonna decorate the top of the ceviche. It's done till tomorrow. So now we're gonna plastic wrap it Put it in the fridge and leave it overnight so the lime juice could do its job. Ceviche lit. Now we're just gonna put it in the fridge overnight. And that's it. All right guys, welcome back. So, if you look here, the ceviche is nice. Look at that. Let me show you a piece of fish. See, look at that. See, that's a piece of the tilapia. It is so tender to the touch. So that means it's cooked and it changed color too. The octopus is also nice and tender. Now guys, remember I told you that we were gonna use some evaporated milk? Now I'm gonna explain why. I'm gonna add some evaporated milk to the ceviche. Now the trick is it helps to cut through the acidity of the lime juice since it's been marinating overnight you know so it's pretty strong it's got that I can smell it it's wow so we're just gonna give it one two shots that's all we need really that should be enough so we're gonna give it a nice stir And that should help cut through the acidity, but it won't lose its lime taste. That's for sure. All right, guys, ceviche is done. Look at that, beautiful. We can put it back in the fridge to chill while we work on the side dish, what we're gonna eat it with. So this is where the ceviche takes an Ecuadorian slash Dominican turn. Now, the Ecuadorian ceviche at this restaurant that I locally eat at, they serve it with something they call chifles. Now, chifles is plantain chips. You know, they they slice it up and they and and then they fry it until they're nice and golden, and it's delicious with the ceviche. It's my favorite thing to eat, next to corn nuts. So this is a plantain or a platano. Now, why I say it takes a Dominican and Ecuadorian twist is because I'm Dominican, which is why I favor the Ecuadorian ceviche a lot because they do serve it with chifles. Now, what we have here. These are ready to be sliced and fried. Now, a platano or a plantain comes like this. It's like a big green banana. Now, what I did was I cut each end, cut it in half, and then I made two slits, one on each side, and then I ran it under hot water for a few minutes, and then it makes the skin easier to peel off. And this is the finished product we got. All right, guys, so I'm slicing the plantains with the mandolin because this is what you want you want paper thin slices you see that look I could you can see through it when you fry them they're gonna fry up nice and crispy so we got our chiefless all chopped up nice and thin slices and they're ready to hit the oil so let's go and do that now you need your oil nice and hot so we're gonna just start throwing them in there
Now you don't want to crowd the pot. You don't want to crowd the pan because then they'll stick together. So we're going to do a few at a time. You want these as crispy as possible. So the first batch is ready to come out. Gonna get all of these. Want to drain them? Try to get as much oil out of them as possible. It's at this point when it's nice and piping hot when you want to hit it with a little salt. That's all you need. We're going to finish off the rest of the, the chifles and then we can plate the ceviche. Fan bab, now we are ready to plate. This is my favorite part. Now what I did was I had a martini glass and I put it in the freezer so it's nice and chilled if you can see. So it's nice and cold. It'll keep the ceviche cold you know while you're eating it so now we're gonna plate this nice heaping Got to get some of that delicious, delicious lime juice. And I actually like what the what the evaporated milk did. Gave it a nice milky color, which I like. Now the chiefless. What I like to do is I like to take a bunch of them and just cram them all around. And then, the piece la resistance. I like to add a little bit of the toasted corn nuts. And voila, now I need somebody to test it for me. All right guys, so this is my dad, Tony. So dad, I made a ceviche and I need somebody to test it out for me. Do me a favor and taste it. Let me know what you think. Okay. Let's see. Yo, G, that's money. Okay. All right, fam bam, now it's time for me to do the taste test. Let me see. Let me get some of that chifle, some shrimp. Let's see what we got here. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, oh, mm. Delicious. So guys, it's that simple. Ceviche with the chief list. These are so good. They they came out so crispy. They're mm. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. Click the little notification bell so you never miss another episode of Yo G. That's money. See you, man, man. Lotto.